The United States Government Publishing Office GPO, formerly the Government Printing Office is an agency of the legislative branch of the United States federal government. The office produces and distributes information products and services for all three branches of the federal government, including U.S. passports for the Department of State as well as the official publications of the Supreme Court, the Congress, the Executive Office of the President, Executive Departments, and independent agencies. The name was changed to its current form on December 17, 2014, pursuant to an omnibus spending bill to fund U.S. federal government operations, which required the rename. History The Government Publishing Office was created by Congressional Joint Resolution 12 Stat. 117 on June 23, 1860. It began operations March 4, 1861, with 350 employees and reached a peak employment of 8,500 in 1972. The agency began transformation to computer technology in the 1980s, along with the gradual replacement of paper with electronic document distribution. This has led to a steady decline in the number of staff at the agency. For its entire history, GPO has occupied the corner of North Capitol Street NW and H Street NW in the District of Columbia. The large red brick building that houses the GPO was erected in 1903 and is unusual in being one of the few large, red brick government structures in a city where most government buildings are mostly marble and granite. The Smithsonian Castle and the Pension Building, now the National Building Museum, are other exceptions. An additional structure was attached to its north in later years. The activities of GPO are defined in the public printing and documents chapters of Title 44 of the United States Code. The director, formerly the public printer, who serves as the head of GPO, is appointed by the president with the advice and consent of the Senate. The director selects a superintendent of documents. The superintendent of documents is in charge of the dissemination of information at the GPO. This is accomplished through the Federal Depository Library Program FDLP, the Cataloging and Indexing Program and the Publication Sales Program, as well as operation of the Federal Citizen Information Center in Pueblo, Colorado. Adelaide Haas was the founder of the Superintendent of Documents Classification System. GPO first used 100% recycled paper for the Congressional Record and Federal Register from 1991 to 1997, under public printers Robert Hauck and Michael DiMario. GPO resumed using recycled paper in 2009. In March 2011, GPO issued a new illustrated official history covering the agency's 150 years of keeping America informed, with demand for print publications falling and a move underway to digital document production and preservation. The name of the GPO was officially changed to Government Publishing Office in a provision of an omnibus government funding bill passed by Congress in December 2014. Following signature of this legislation by President Barack Obama, the name change took place on December 17, 2014. Topic: <laughs> Public Printers of the United States. By law, the public printer heads the GPO. The position of public printer traces its roots back to Benjamin Franklin and the period before the American Revolution, when he served as public printer, whose job was to produce official government documents for Pennsylvania and other colonies. When the agency was renamed in December 2014 the title, public printer, was also changed to director. Davida Vance Cooks was therefore the first director of GPO. Public printers Alman M. Clapp, 1876 to 1877; John D. DeFries, 1877 to 1882; Sterling P. Rounds, 1882 to 1886; Thomas E. Benedict, 1886 to 1889; Frank W. Palmer, 1889 to 1894; Thomas E. Benedict, 1894 to 1897. Frank W. Palmer, 1897–1905, O.J. Ricketts, acting, 1905–1905, Charles A. Stillings, 1905–1908, William S. Rossiter, acting, 1908–1908, Capt. Henry T. Bryan, acting, 1908–1908, 1908 
John S. Leach, 1908 to 1908. Samuel B. Donnelly, 1908 to 1913. Cornelius Ford, 1913 to 1921. George H. Carter, 1921 to 1934. Augustus E. Gigingic, 1934 to 1948. John J. Davini, acting, 1948 to 1948. John J. Davini, 1948 to 1953. Philip L. Cole, acting, 1953 to 1953. Raymond Blattenberger, 1953 to 1961, John M. Wilson, acting, 1961 to 1961, Felix E. Christofane, acting, 1961 to 1961, James L. Harrison, 1961 to 1970, Adolphus N. Spence, 1970 to 1972, Harry J. Humphrey, acting, 1972-1973, Lt. Golden Acting Deputy 1973 to 1973 Thomas F McCormick 1973 to 1977 John J Boyle 1977 to 1980 Samuel Saylor Acting 1980-1981 Danford L Sawyer Jr 1981 to 1984 William J Barrett Acting 1984 to 1984 Ralph E. Kennekel Jr., 1984 to 1988; Joseph E. Jennifer, acting, 1988 to 1990; Robert Houck, 1990 to 1993; Michael F. DiMario, acting, 1993 to 1993; Michael F. DiMario, 1993 to 2002; Bruce James, 2002 to 2007; William H. Turi, acting, 2007 to 2007. Robert C. Tapella, 2007 to 2010; William J. Borman, 2010 to 2012; Davida Vance Cooks, 2013 to 2017. Topic: Published government documents. Topic: Official journals of government. GPO contracts out much of the federal government's printing but prints the official journals of government in-house, including Code of Federal Regulations Public and Private Laws The Congressional Record The Federal Register, which is the official daily publication for rules, proposed rules, and notices of federal agencies and organizations. United States Code United States Statutes at Large House Journal and Senate Journal Topic. Passports GPO has been producing U.S. passports since the 1920s. The United States Department of State began issuing e-passports in 2006. The e-passport includes an electronic chip embedded in the cover that contains the same information that is printed in the passport, name, date and place of birth, sex, dates of passport issuance and expiration, passport number, and photo of the bearer. GPO produces the blank e-passport, while the Department of State receives and processes applications and issues individual passports. GPO ceased production of legacy passports in May 2007, shifting production entirely to e-passports. In March 2008, The Washington Times published a three-part story about the outsourcing of electronic passports to overseas companies, including one in Thailand that was subject to Chinese espionage. Topic: <laughs> Trusted Traveler Program Card. GPO designs, prints, encodes and personalizes trusted traveler program cards Nexus, Sentry and Fast for the Department of Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection CBP. <laughs> GPO publications Cumulative copyright catalogs Medical and Surgical History of the War of the Rebellion 1870-88 Official Records of the American Civil War U.S. Congressional Serial Set United States. Adjutant General's Office. Military Information Division 1901.
Publication, Issue 33. Washington, GPO. Retrieved February 19, 2011. Document, United States. War Department Original from Harvard University United States. Adjutant General's Office. Military Information Division, p. 1901. Publications, Issues 33-34. p. 528. Retrieved 1 April 2013. United States. Adjutant General's Office. Military Information Division, Stephen L. Slocum, Carl Reichman, Adna Romanga Chaffee 1901. Reports on Military Operations in South Africa and China. July, 1901. Washington, GOVT, Print. Off. P. 600. Retrieved February 19, 2011, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List link, Issue 33 of Publication United States. Adjutant General's Office. Military Information Division Issue 143 of Document, United States War Department Issue 33 of Publication, United States Adjutant General's Office Stephan L. Slocum, Carl Reichman, Adna Romanza Chaffee, United States. Adjutant General's Office. Military Information Division 1901. Reports on Military Operations in South Africa and China. Washington, GPO. P. 600. Retrieved February 19, 2011, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List link, Issue 143 of Document United States. War Department Original from the New York Public Library United States. Bureau of Foreign Commerce, United States. Department of Commerce and Labor. Bureau of Statistics, United States. Bureau of Manufactures 1904. Commercial Relations of the United States with Foreign Countries During the Years Volume 2. Washington, GPO. Retrieved June 28, 2010, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List link, Original from Harvard University United States. Bureau of Foreign Commerce 1891. Reports from the Consuls of the United States, Issues 124-127. Washington, GPO. Retrieved July 17, 2011. Original from the University of California. United States. War Department 1899. Annual Reports of the War Department, Volume 1, Part 2, Volume 1, Part 4. US Government Printing Office. Retrieved the 24th of April 2014. United States. Office of Education 1901. Report of the Federal Security Agency, Office of Education, Volume 2. U.S. Government Printing Office. Retrieved 24 April 2014. Philippines. Gobernator General, Philippines. Governor, 1919. Report of the Governor General of the Philippine Islands to the Secretary of War. U.S. Government Printing Office. Retrieved 24 April 2014. Chen, Da, 1923. Chinese Migrations, with special reference to labor conditions. Volume 340 of Bulletin of the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, Volume 85, Issue 19 of House Documents. U.S. Government Printing Office. Retrieved 24 April 2014, GPO publishes the U.S. Government Publishing Office Style Manual. Among the venerable series are Foreign Relations of the United States for the Department of State since 1861, and Public Papers of the Presidents, covering the administrations of Presidents Herbert Hoover onward except Franklin D. Roosevelt, whose papers were privately printed. GPO published the Statistical Abstract of the United States for the Census Bureau from 1878 to 2012. GPO Police Security for GPO facilities is provided by the Government Publishing Office Police. The force is part of the GPO's Physical Security Group and in 2003 had 53 officers. Officers are appointed under Title 44 U.S.C. Section 317 by the public printer or their delegate. Their duty is to protect persons and property in premises and adjacent areas occupied by or under the control of the government printing office. 
Officers are authorized to bear and use arms in the performance of their duties, make arrests for violations of federal and state law, and that of Washington, D.C. and enforce the regulations of the public printer, including requiring the removal from GPO premises of individuals who violate such regulations. Officers have concurrent jurisdiction with the law enforcement agencies where the premises are located. See also Bureau of Engraving and Printing is responsible for the printing of United States currency. Federal Digital System National Technical Information Service Queen's Printer United States Congress Joint Committee on Printing